the last session we have imported the required libraries and in this session we will start uh, with visualizing the data that we have. So here I am visualizing some of the data or some of the traffic signals that I have in my data set. So let's see how it's going to work. So these are the different traffic signs that I'm having in my data set, which are of all different sizes. Like uh, the size of these images are of not same dimensions. So we will take the mean of these images here and we will find out the mean of these images to like adjust all these images into the same size. So as you all know that uh, in this uh, data set we are having 43 classes in this traffic sign classification data set. So as you all know that we have already taken 43 classes in this traffic sign classification data. So I am running the for loop from 0 to 43 and I will take each of the image and find out the mean of that image dimension 1 and dimension 2 and then store them. So let's run this and find the images dimensions and let's print those dimensions here. So here we can see that dimension 1 mean is 50.328 and so on like this and the mean of dimension 2 is 50.8358. So we can conclude uh, so we can conclude that 50 by 50 is the average shape of an image. Now we will convert all these images into this shape that is 50 by 50. So here we are resizing the image to 50 by 50. So the next step would be to convert these images into numpy array and also to normalize them. So in order to normalize an image we will be dividing the image by 255 because the pixel value of each image ranges from 0 to 255. So we will divide each image by 255 to normalize it and convert them into numpy array. And we will for that we will be simply using a function called numpy.array. So let's run this cell and convert the images into numpy and normalize them. Similarly, we will store the label ID into numpy array and we will shape it. So here we can observe that 39209 label IDs we have. Similarly, we will print the shape of the images. So this is the shape of each image that is 39209 images with shape of 50 is to 50 is to 3 which represents the dimension 1 and dimension 2 are uh, 50 and the number of channels in each image will be 3 that is it is a color image that is in RGB format. So let's move forward now and visualize the number of classes to find out if the data is balanced or not. So here we can see that it is around 2200 in each class. So we can see that the data is not imbalanced. It is completely balanced data. So we don't know. Uh, so here we don't need to balance that data as the data is already balanced. Now the next step would be splitting the data using the test train split. Here the data is split into a ratio of 80% training data and 20% validation data. Similarly, we will convert the training data, we will convert the label that is to which class it belongs to and apply one hot encoding using two categorical function. So here why the one hot encoding function is so important. It is important because if we don't apply one hot encoding to the machine, it will get prioritized on itself. So to avoid prioritize, we will apply one hot encoding on the training and the validation data. The target variable is Y train categorical and Y validation categorical. 